All right, congratulations. You made it back for round two, level two. Now, we want a nice sturdy chair. I prefer you stand at the sink, but if you don't need too much assistance, you can grab a nice heavy chair to hold onto for support. We are gonna start by squeezing thighs and buns and stomach is pulled in as you lift straight up to the ceiling and down. You're lifting up on your toes and down. Meemaw's gonna count out One, loud 20 times. Two, Fantastic, going as three, high as you can every single four, time. We're going for five, quality. Don't just six, bounce up and down, you're not doing anything. Seven, <laughs> Look eight, at this fantastic posture. Nine, That's because she's pulling her belly button into her spine. Her yeah. thighs are tight, her buns are 12, tight. Breathing in and out. And I know that because she's counting 14, out loud. So make sure you're counting out loud. 15, you're almost to 20. 16, Come on, you can do it. You should 17, feel some pretty good burning right here in your calf muscles. 18, 19, One more. 20. All right, couple deep breaths. And whenever you're ready, go back in for that second set of 20. One, there should be no dizziness, two, no lightheadedness. Three, if you have any of these symptoms, you don't want to keep going. Please sit down. Take your blood pressure. If you frequently feel dizzy when you stand up, try to breathe through it for a couple of seconds, but definitely don't try to go walking and definitely don't try to do exercise. We need you to take your blood pressure. It could be a low blood pressure, in which case you want to drink water. That's how you hydrate to get your blood pressure up. It could be high. 16, Maybe you forgot to take your blood pressure 17, medicine this morning. If you already 18, took it and it's abnormally high, 19, you never want to exercise with 20, a high blood pressure. Just rest. Okay, nice deep breaths. That's your first one. The next thing we're going to do is lift your leg out to the side and down. This is not a big swing. It's a very controlled lift and lower. Good, she's breathing in and out, and I know because she's counting, as are you. Six. The support leg is very important. You have to make sure that the thigh is tight. If I came back and put a knee behind her knee to try and buckle it, like people do in my family a lot, they think it's funny. Her leg is tight, so I couldn't buckle her knee if I tried. That's how you want to always think when you're standing on one leg and that whole leg is supporting your body weight. Don't just go through the motions. Think about the leg that you're standing on. One. Beautiful. Two. Three. It's always good to find a nice four, eye line that's five, a neutral height. Six. So that you don't find yourself seven, drooping forward. Your eyes, eight, your body follows your eyes. Nine, so if you look down, ten, then your head goes forward, then your shoulders seven, go forward. And we want to exercise eight, with a nice, beautiful posture eight, like we see ten, here. 14, Come on! 15, you're, you're getting a good 16, hip workout today. <laughs> 17, 18, good. 19, last one. 20. Couple deep belly breaths. In and out. And when you're ready, we have our second set. Come on! One. Out and in. Two. You got it. Three. She's actually getting very good height. Five, if you can't lift your legs, no six, worries. You take a step in and out. Nine, I definitely don't want to see any slinging. Seven, if you can't control the lift 12, up and down, 14, nice and slow, then you want to do a side 15, step in and out. 15, There's always a way to keep moving. 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, home stretch. Last set of these. One. For this segment, anyway. Two, three. <laughs> Very nice. Four. Five. Six. And of course, you had a good breakfast seven, this morning. We've already discussed eight, how important it is to fuel up before nine, you work out. Have your eight, bottle water close. 11, We've got ours right here. Twelve. Got to stay hydrated. That does not mean coffee. That's actually a diuretic and can let you get dehydrated and not know it, cause some dizziness when you stand up. So it's very important that you're taking your blood pressure and you're aware of what to do if it's high or low. All right. You look great. All right. You should be warming up. 
<laughs> you should be starting to feel all of that increased circulation and blood flow, which is the whole point of all of it. It's very healing, it's very energizing, it elevates your mood, it makes you want to get active and go out and do things. All right, let's give our ankles some more attention. You're going to lift your toes up like your toes are wet and you don't want to get them off the carpet. Men, you don't know what I'm talking about because you don't paint your toenails. So just bring your toes up and up and up. This is a very important one to be holding on to. We don't want you to teeter back. Nine, Two sets of 20, ten, and if you're not sure why we do this one, 11, every single step that you take requires 12, that your heel hits 13, first and then you roll onto your toe. 14, if you don't have good muscles here, then you can't pull the toe up, 15, and you might be dragging your toe when you walk, which can 16, cause falls. The most important reason 17, for me being here and talking to you is to 10, prevent falls. Nine, so, 10, 12, I want you to think about why we do them. So it will motivate you to make those movements very big. One. All right. Two. We're on our second set already. Three. Woohoo! Four. Time flies when I'm chatting. Five. <laughs> six, Maybe not for you guys. Seven. <laughs> eight. Nine. Ten. Another great reason that we do eleven, this is for the swelling in the ankles, 12, as well as any kind of trauma. 12, arthritis, um, again, ankle sprains and injuries that are super, super common. So we give those ankles a lot of TLC, a lot of stabilizing, a lot of very gentle movements. 19, 20. You can do it. We're already on our last exercise. For this one, I don't want you to bring the knee up into the counter or the chair, so I'm going to have you turn and face away from whatever you're holding on to. You're going to lift using your abdominals and lower. One, Excellent. Two sets two, of 20 on each side, and we are done with round two. Four, Look at her beautiful five, posture. It goes right into play. Six, I don't have to cue her, but if seven, you're like most people, you might have eight, found a spot on the ground that you're nine, looking at. Remember to find ten, a, a nice high eye nine, line. Ten, Shoulders are back. Twelve. Belly button is in. Thirteen. Good. She's counting 15, loud so I can 16, hear her. I know she's still feeling strong. 17, 18, 19, 19 20. All right. Good. Again, these are your walking muscles. You can't work these enough. If this seems like a lot to you, think about our goal being you want to be able to take hundreds and hundreds of steps as you go out and go shopping or the library, whatever it is that is in the back of your mind that you want to get back to doing. Yeah. We're just practicing steps Four, here. So, 13, this is all very 15, functional and very practical. 15, I just like you to know why you're doing what you're doing. 17, I'm not trying to 18, torture you 19, without a reason. <laughs> all right, we're almost there. One, you should feel it all in here. Two, My lovely assistant, Five, being such a trooper. Six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, Yay. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 16, 17, 18, 19, Good. Other side. If One, you don't feel like you have good support, three, you can always turn around three, and hold on. Four, but she's doing pretty good five, where she's at. Six. If you ever seven, feel uncomfortable, don't eight, do it. Nine, we'll try and find a way that's more comfortable. Ten, <laughs> I 11, saw that look. <laughs> 12, 13, I just want you to feel 14, safe. So I offered her another chair on this side of her, so she'd have two-handed support. You might have a cane or a walker you can put here. Fantastic! Couple deep breaths. Was that round one or round two? I lost count. Are we done? Yes. Congratulations! 
Okay, next time we come back, which is an hour from now, I want you to get back to that comfy seat. And then we'll get started on level three, no, level two, round three. Bye for now.